In West Baltimore, there is a program that is instilling music into the minds of young students, but this is not the typical middle school or high school band. The location and magnitude of this program is what makes it so unique. My name is Nakaya Monroe, and I play the clarinet, and the piece I'm about to play is Beethoven Ninth Symphony. On the outside, Lockerman Bundy Elementary looks like any other grade school in Baltimore, but upon entering, it is obvious this school holds something more. Just behind these walls, the Orchids program is aimed towards getting kids started early in music. We had the privilege of sitting down with one of the people responsible for spearheading this operation. Dan Trahey, Artistic Director and Co-Founder of the Baltimore Symphony Orchids program. Dan and his fellow staff work together to get instruments into the hands of kids at a much younger grade level. The average grade in America is somewhere around halfway through the fifth grade that they start instrumental music. And uh, so we've taken that down to the first grade here. The studies show that the earlier you start kids in school, you know, the, the easier it is to get them acclimated. It's with everything. Foreign language is the exact same thing. Start them early. They get it. The program stems from a strong and fruitful collaboration between the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, Luckerman Bundy Elementary, and the surrounding community. Number one, Marin Elsap, the conductor of the Baltimore Symphony, had a, a vision to activate the Baltimore Symphony in the Baltimore community through youth. And number two, was this huge music program in Venezuela called El Sistema, teaching about 400,000 poor kids in Venezuela how to, how to play music and really how to be socially active through music. And then I was doing a program at Peabody called Tuned In that was also a um, community-based uh, project for the university. Those three things came together and the symphony called me and asked if I wanted to do some sort of program in Baltimore City and we, I said absolutely and so we started Orchids. Uh, this is our third year in operation and we did a year of planning before we started. But it's the philosophy behind the program that sets it apart. I think that you have to have an instrument in their hand at the same time they're learning how to kick a ball or put a baseball glove on or throw a football or whatever because it has to be an extension of their body. We're just trying to do the exact same thing. It's no big deal that you go out and kick a soccer ball and you don't know how to do it. It's the act of doing it. You're out there you know, playing the sport. And in music, it's always like, oh, we have to do it the right way. Like there's, no, no, put the instrument in their hand. That's, that's the most important thing because most kids aren't even getting that. The students attend school as any person their age would do, but after class is out, the kids stay to do their homework and practice their instruments. There you go, huge breath and play the whole thing. Sing through the horn. There are many reasons why music is important to young minds, and the Orchids program drives that message home with fully involving the kids in performing and practicing. At the heart of it, it's the orchestra or the musical ensemble that you make with the kids is, is a metaphor for society, for functioning, beautiful society where people are having to work together, they're having to create something better than themselves, they have the opportunity to succeed in a structure, sometimes they have to take direction, sometimes they have to be the ones who lead, they can climb up through a kind of a corporate ladder, so to speak, within the section, starting with you know only playing a few notes of the symphony, and then again all the way up until there, you know, could be the the concertmaster um, actually dictating what the uh, violin section plays. So this is the instrument storage room here, and every single one of them, you know, a hundred thousand dollars worth of worth of instruments donated various sources, from the Baltimore Brass Company, from Music and Arts, which is the largest distributor of musical instruments in the world, individuals who have just sent us instruments from all over this country, VH1, the music station, the Baltimore City Public Schools have contributed to this, Mayor Elsep has contributed herself to this. When I turn my back to the city and I look at West Baltimore, I wonder, like, do people just think it's not there? Or are they just kind of like, oh, that's over there, I'm not even going to think about it? And I'm saying, no, it's, that's not the case. So Orchids was created as a bucket so people could throw their $10 or their volunteer hours or their million dollars or their vi old violin or whatever it is, can put it in this bucket and that bucket actually retains all of this goodwill and all this support and then we're actually able to do stuff with it and, and help you know, transition the community. There are a tremendous amount of children that need something like this and, and coming here and doing such a great job here just makes me realize how we're finding it to be effective all over the place. I mean, we only have one site in Baltimore, but you know, 
the ORCIDS program has helped start sites all over the world. And I just think how much better it would be if we could actually offer this to all the children of Baltimore City.